Our discussion is all about division of fractions. We define first what is reciprocal. Reciprocal means multiplicative inverse. It is one of a pair of numbers that when multiplied together, it is equal to 1. We have here the steps in finding the reciprocal of a fraction. We have first reverse the position of the numerator and the denominator. Now, if the fraction is a mixed number, change the mixed number to an improper fraction first before finding the reciprocal. We have here an example. If we have 3 fourths and we get the reciprocal of the fraction, we just reverse the position of the denominator and the numerator. So we have 3 fourths. The reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 over 3. Now, what if the given fraction is a mixed number? How can we get the reciprocal? So all you need is to change this first to an improper fraction. So we have 2 times 1. Is 2 plus 1 is 3, so 1 and 1 half is 3 halves. If you get the reciprocal, you change its position, then the reciprocal of 1 and 1 half is 2 thirds. Because the improper of it is 3 halves, then the reciprocal is 2 thirds. Next, we have here 5. It's a whole number. To get the reciprocal of 5, you may put 1 as a denominator, then... To get the reciprocal, you just change the position of the numerator and the denominator. So, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. So, going back to the definition of reciprocal, it means the multiplicative inverse. And if you are going to multiply the fraction to its reciprocal, you will get 1. So, again, we have 3 fourths. You multiply it with 4 over 3 you will get 1. 12 over 12, that is 1. If you multiply the original value of 1 and 1 half, which is 3 halves, you multiply its reciprocal, we have 6 over 6, you will get 1. And here, the 5, if you multiply 5 over 1 times its reciprocal, which is 1 fifth, you will get 5 over 5 or 1. We define and understand reciprocal because this is needed in dividing fractions. Here are the steps. We have multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So as you can see, we need to get the reciprocal of the divisor. Now let's check first. This 1 half is the dividend and this 1 eighth is the divisor. The value of n which is the missing is our quotient. So first... We get the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 1 8, and the, its reciprocal is 8 over 1. Then, according to the rule, you multiply the dividend, which is the dividend is 1 half, to the reciprocal of the divisor. So we just multiply. Then, we have 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2. Next, if the product is an improper fraction, change it to mixed number. So as you can see, our answer is improper. So we need to change it into a mixed number or a whole number. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And that is 8. No more remainder. So our answer is 4. There is no remainder. So there is no fraction. Answer is whole number. Then express the product in simplest form. Then the final answer is 4. Next, what if the given equation has mixed fractions? So we have here 2 and 1 fifth divided by 1 and 1 six. So here are the steps. Change the mixed numbers to improper fractions first. So we need to change this 2 and 1 half and 1 and 1 six to mixed to improper fraction. Change it, change it first. So we have 11 over 5. Then here is 7 over 6. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, since the improper fraction is 7 over 6, the reciprocal of the divisor is 6 over 7. Then, we can now multiply the numerators and the denominators with the dividend and its re reciprocal of the divisor. We have 66 over 35. Now, if the product is an improper fraction, which is an improper fraction, 
then we need to change to a mixed number by dividing the numerator to the denominator. We have 1, so this is 35, this is 31. And our answer is 1 and 31 over 35. Let's see if 31 and 35 have common factors. We have 2, no, 3, no, no. okay. So our final answer is 1 and 31 over 35. Next is dividing whole number to mixed fractions. So what if the given equation has a whole number and a mixed fraction? So the steps are, we, we need to put 1 as the denominator of the whole number. So the 4 becomes 4 over 1. Then change the mixed numbers to improper fraction. So we have 1 and 1 8 and the improper fraction is 9 over 8. Then, we need to get the reciprocal of 9 over 8, so it becomes 8 over 9. Then, we can now multiply the numerators and the denominators. So, we have 32 over 9. And, we need to change it into a mixed number by dividing. So, we have 3, this is 27. And we have 5, so our answer is 3 and 5 ninths. So that's our final answer. Let's have more examples. So what is the quotient of 1 and 1 half and 4? So as you can see, the given is a mixed number, which we need to change it into, a improp into an improper fraction. We have 3 over 2. Then, uh, if it's a whole number, you put 1 as a denominator. But since this is the divisor, we need to get its reciprocal. So 4 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 over 4. Then, we multiply. So we have 3 and 8. So there is no common factor between 3 and 8 aside from 1. So our answer is 3 eighths. Next, what is 1 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 2 thirds. So they are both mixed fractions, so we need to change this first to an improper fraction. So 1 and 1 fourth is 5 over 4. Then 1 and 2 thirds is 5 over 3. Then don't forget to get the reciprocal of this 1 and 2 thirds or this 5 thirds. We have 3 fifths. And we can now multiply to the dividend, which is 5 over 4. Then our answer is 15 over 20. 15 and 20 can be reduced in lowest term by dividing 5. So this is 3 and this is 4. So our final answer is 3 fourths. This time, you try these examples. Then, you check if your answers are correct. We have 5 divided by 3 fourth is 6 and 2 third. And 1 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 1 third is 15 over 16.